All right, hi everyone. Official stream start on Angelic Days Cosplay, and though I am talking into a nicer professional professional camera for the YouTube, I also am double casting it into a live stream on my Instagram from my phone, which is down there. So if you at a later date are on YouTube watching this video and you see me like answering questions or talking to people, just know that that's why. This is a thing that I do sometimes. But we're gonna start pretty basically. This is like no makeup on my face except for the dregs of my eyebrows, which I did my best to wipe off earlier. Once again, reiterating that I don't actually have eyebrows. They are totally plugged, so every photo you see of me with eyebrows, which, if I'm doing my job, should be every photo of me, you know that they're a lie. Yeah, what I'm up to is becoming Devil Man. Hello, Joey04. What up? This is a household where we do accept ooze. You can't see because of the angles of my camera, but I'm standing very, very far from my mirror to do this, so if we're getting some sloppy application, know that I don't care and we'll troubleshoot that little problem for next time. The wig that we're going to be using in a second, by the way, is going to be a wonderful lace front from Epic Cosplay. I believe it is their uh, Karapkino, I need to look that up, style. I'll mention that directly, but I just took it directly out of the box and I wasn't planning on using it for Akira, I was planning on using it for uh, Speed Racer. But the second I saw the Widow's Peak that it came with, I was like, alright, we're gonna make this a double man cosplay. Anything that doesn't look right, I can fix in Photoshop. Uh, the first thing that I know I want to do is, I know I'm gonna want some pretty intense contour for this because he is an angular boy. And these are gonna be like some pretty dark bold contours just because again, angular, angular sun. But Oh, the little built-in mirror on this thing is terrible. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work. We'll put some highlight on afterwards. I usually do the highlight first, but in this case, that's not the product I grabbed at first glance. So sometimes, sometimes it be like that. By the way, I think that the most money I ever made in a singular bartending shift was while I was uh, dressed as Speed Racer because I was doing a bartending shift at my nearby Midtown Atlanta restaurants during Dragon Con and I was at Dragon Con earlier that day and didn't have time to change before running to work so I just did my whole shift while dressed as Speed Racer and made about twice the money I normally do so yay Dragon Con go rich nerds Speed Racer made so many cocktails that night <laughs> By the way, if you have any feedback for how I do my live streams or how I do my YouTube videos, you can either write something in the chat or leave a like, comment, subscribe, or in this case leave specifically just a comment on my YouTube channel. Because right now I'm just sort of throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks and how people respond to things. And feedback and accepting feedback, even and especially negative feedback, is a huge, huge part of it, so I would really appreciate it. Doing my best. Doing my best to make my face look nice. <laughs> That's really the goals. And this is a bit of a like mildly luminescent highlight, so we'll see if you like that. Also, I think that Weird Al might be immortal. I think that Weird Al is definitely immortal, actually. There's good evidence of it. There's that one painting of John the Baptist that looks exactly like Weird Al, and you know what? Like, I believe it. I believe that Weird Al Yankovic is John the Baptist. You heard it here first, folks. That's my conspiracy theory for this video. Next, I think that I definitely need some eyebrows to be double man, so we're gonna break into that right quick. Akira actually looks like he's um, wearing makeup, unlike a lot of male characters, because he has this like, weird eyeliner thing going on. So that's very much something that I want to try to copy the look of. I normally don't do heavy liner or more anime looks for male characters, but this is an exception because he actually sort of is supposed to look like that, I feel, instead of just being a normal dude, but we'll see. I mean, obviously I'm drawing them on much lower 
then my eyes normally naturally sit, or my eyebrows normally naturally sit. Don't know how long that stopped recording for, so we might have a little chunk of missing in YouTube, but uh, back to eyebrow progress. Again, keeping that nice angled look, using some gel liner for that. And now that I have one eyebrow that I'm really happy with, the struggle is going to be making its twin, so pray for me, we'll see how that goes. eyebrows are not totally parallel, but you know, I've always heard the expression eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, so we're just gonna play with that. Hello, Jack, what's up? Let's see. And I'm going to actually uh, line my waterline, I think, for Akira, because it really looks like he is, and then we're going to experiment with um, getting the proper shape for the little devil man swoop there that he definitely has. So I'm just gonna get him real close on my eyes and probably make it so y'all can't see anything, but we'll see. If y'all like my backdrop, by the way, I have a logo backdrop to look professional and pretend that it's not just a curtain hanging over my shower curtain in my bathroom. top. All right. Looks like we have our basic eyeliner shape. Yeah. And eyebrow shape. Cool. Now that I have the liner shape down, I'm going to actually like shade my eyes a little bit more with some eyeshadow just to bring back a little bit more dimension. This looks very drag, but anyway, I'm kind of into and I'm just going to redefine the liner again because it got a little bit smooshed by the shadow. And I think I'm happy with this for makeup, except for one little thing I want to do. I can find a good brush for it. And that is I'm going to sort of shade out the edges of my lips just a little bit to try to give them the appearance of being a little bit more thinner and masculine. I like it when a show has more stylized art style like this because it gives me a lot more opportunities to play with my makeup a bit. This looks pretty good. Are you all happy with this? I'm pretty happy with this. Just as our makeup base might adjust it a bit later. Good manly look though. And now I'm just gonna try and get it on my wig. <laughs> 